Today we're going to be doing a low flow. So we're still strong in the center, using those glutes, opening up that upper body, but we're down here a little bit more. There's not so much up and down. So it's, it's great if you struggle a little bit with the blood pressure and if you struggle with the stability and rising up as well. So we'll start as always with a wake up for our core. So we're going to have those hands underneath those shoulders and those knees underneath the hips. If you are mobile in those elbows and you tend to lock the elbows, try to soften those and draw the pits of the elbows together. Keep pushing that ground away, rising up in the center of that body, imagining there's a magnet on the back. And just feel that activation here. Thinking about the connection from the sacrum to the scapula to the skull. So one, two, three. Thinking about those being in a long line if you know you tend to arch in that center and tip that pelvis forward, push down into the ground, ground into the knees, rising up in the center of that body, pushing down, maybe even feeling that firing here now. And then imagine drawing those thighs together. So we push down into the shins and we're drawing the thighs together. If you have a brick or maybe even a cushion near you, you could pop those between the thighs and actually squeeze that. Feeling the center switching on, feeling the glutes switching on, helping that action, feeling the thighs working here, pushing down through the ground, rising up. And we can tuck those toes, push down into the ground, big breath in, big breath out, pushing down, lifting those knees off the mat, just letting those hover, big breath in, big breath out, we bring the knees back down. We'll try that one again. So big breath in, big breath out, hover those knees rising off the mat, firing, squeezing that block. Big breath in here, big breath out, keep hovering, rising in that center, even weight through the hands and the toes. Big breath in, squeeze that brick, knees can come down. Take that moment, feel where you were feeling that work in your body. Where was the energy? Where was the effort? We'll keep that brick there or that cushion there if you have that. Push down into those toes again, push down into the hands, not looking the elbows, big breath in. Rising up, coming into your downward dog or pushing back into your tabletop. Keep firing that, those thighs. Slightly shorter downward dog, big breath in. Big breath out, the knees will come all the way down. We can take the block or the cushion away push down through those hands again, rising up here, bringing those knees off the mat. See if your body has the stability, the strength to bring the right toe off the mat, up towards the seat. Keep firing, keep pushing, right toe down, big breath in here, big breath out, the knees can come down. Check that center is still active, we're still firing, we are still strong, big breath in, big breath out, we push the ground away, the knees are coming off. If you want to, bring that left foot off. Keep those hips in line, we're not leaning into the right side of the body. Right, left foot down, left knees down. Big breath in here, big breath out. We're going to come into a bit of a flow now. So on your next big breath in, push the ground away, bringing that left foot forwards between, beside that left hand, so it goes left foot, Left hand, right hand. Then push down into that left foot, rising up. So we're in our low kneel and check the center line of that left knee. We want that left knee to be in line with the second to third toe. Let that hand travel down and guide. We want those hips both pointing forward here, rising on, drawing back in that center if you lean into that knee. Thinking about a 90 degree connection in that front foot as well as in that back knee. And you could have the toes up, if that's a bit of a challenge for the stability of your body. Have the foot down, get more stability here. Push down through the lower half of the body, rising up through the upper half of the body. Big breath in, big breath out, rising taller, draw back in that pelvis if there's any lean. Thinking about the space from that hip to the rib, and out through that arm, big breath in. Big breath out, the hands will come down inside that foot. 
bringing that foot back. Remember, you can also use bricks, blocks, books to give yourself a bit of extra space to bring those hands down. Take the option that's right for you. Big breath in here. Big breath out. We're going to tuck those toes. Big breath in again. Big breath out. We push down through the ground. Rising up, staying active. Pushing that ground away, keeping that knees hovering off the mat. Firing those glutes, imagining drawing those thighs together. Big breath in here. Big breath out, we come down. We flatten the feet if we need extra stability for our body. And we bring that right foot forward on the outside of the right hand. So it goes right foot, right hand, left hand. Push down into those feet, rising up. Big breath in. And remember, you can always double your mat over or pop something lovely like an eye pillow under the knee if there's any discomfort. Checking that knee is in line with the second to third toe again. Big breath in here. Drawing that centre back. Squishing together. Imagining we're in that sandwich press. Rising high. Big breath in. Big breath out. Another big breath in here. On the exhale, the hands will come down around the foot or onto bricks. Bringing that foot back. Big breath in here. Big breath out. Push that ground away. Tuck those toes. Lifting those knees off the mat, keep firing, keep thinking about that connection in the back of the body, so the sacrum, the scapula, the skull, centre is on, legs are firing, big breath in, big breath out, the knees can come down, that left foot will come forward, left foot, left hand, right hand, pushing down through the feet, we rise all the way up, make any adjustments, I need to bring my foot back this time, see what's happening in your body. I took too big a step. So we're going to now move from this, which would be a low warrior or a low kneel. And we're going to open our arms, coming into a low warrior too. So we're imagining the chest is on the back of the wall. And again, you can have the back foot flat here for more stability. Those hands are reaching away. Keep that center in. We're not leaning in here. There's not a back bend rising up here. Big breath in, we can flip those hands over and down. Opening up, twisting those hands. You can be looking forward over the hands or looking straight ahead, chin in line with the chest. We'll bring that right hand down onto the hip, the glutes, the thigh or the calf. Maybe the heel and the left arm will come up. Rising up through that left hand, thinking about that connection from that left heel all the way up the leg, the side of the body and out those left fingertips. See if you can release the right ear onto the right shoulder, opening up that neck a little bit. Firing those glutes still. Not letting those switch off at any point. Big breath in. Big breath out. We bend that left elbow. It comes onto the left knee. The right arm will reach up, reach forward. Big breath in. Big breath out, feeling the space down the side of the body. Big breath in again, rising up that little bit more. Staying active through the centre. Not putting all our weight into our left knee. From here we bring the right hand down beside the left foot or onto bricks if you need more space for your body. Pushing down into that left hand, throw that left foot in that right hand, opening the chest. Shoulder is over the right hand. Maybe that left arm can reach high. Feeling those fingers spread, releasing that right ear to that right shoulder. Big breath in, keep pushing down through that front foot. Glutes active. Big breath in. Big breath out. Rise up one more time, staying active in that centre. On the exhale, bring the left hand down between the foot and the hand, and that left foot will come all the way back. Taking that moment to create the awareness in your body. Big breath in again. Big breath out. Next big breath in, we bring that right foot to the outside of the right hand. So it goes right foot, right hand, left hand. Pushing down through the ground, we rise all the way up. Big breath in, make any adjustments needed, maybe in the step that you've taken, or maybe drawing that knee in line with that second to third toe. Does the pelvis need to come up? Can you rise higher from the ribs to the hips, creating more space in that body, creating more space for your organs for digestion? The arms are up, they're reaching high, thinking about 
the space around those ribs and the shoulder blades and that shoulder joint. High space. Big breath in, big breath out. That right arm will come forward, the left arm will come back. The shoulder blades are on the wall behind you. Low warrior two. The hands can both face down. See where you want your chin to go. Are you looking over that extended arm in front of you? Push down through the foot or are you looking straight ahead? Big breath in, big breath out. That left hand will come down onto the left hip, the left glutes, maybe the thigh, the calf or the heel. And that right arm is extending up, maybe even behind a little bit, fingers active. Thinking about the connection from that right heel all the way up the right side of the body and over through those fingers. See if that left ear can come down onto the left shoulder, opening up the space in the right side of the neck. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, we bend that right elbow, it comes onto the right knee. Staying active in the centre, that left arm is reaching up and beyond us. See if that right ear can come onto the right shoulder this time. Glutes are still active. We're pushing down through that front foot, rising up in the body. Big breath in. Big breath out. The left hand will come down inside that right foot. See if we can open up that hand. That left hand is underneath the left shoulder. Opening up. Maybe the right hand comes onto the left shoulder joint. Maybe that right arm extends all the way up. Pushing down, staying active in the glutes, drawing that right hip back if you feel it start to lean forward. So pushing down, drawing back. Big breath in here. Big breath out. Left ear down to the left shoulder. Releasing in the right side of the neck. Breathing in here. Breathing out, that right hand will come down beside the right foot and we bring the right foot all the way back finding that connection of the hands underneath the shoulders and the knees under the hips again tucking those toes slowly walking the hand back towards the knees maybe your seat can come down on the heels to open up those feet a little bit or maybe you want to keep those hands down with those toes tucked and just shimmy in and out pushing the toes into the mat. Big breath in, big breath out. The hands come back towards the knees. And that is your flow for today, really waking up that body. The glutes are on, the center's been firing, the chest is open, the back is firing. And you've taken that low flow to get you from this moment through the rest of your day. Ready, prepared, active. I hope you enjoyed that.